Hello, our family. This is Mr. Park. Uh, this is our December 18th Nightlight Principles newscast. And I'd like to start the conversation today by sharing with you a picture book uh, that I've been reading with our, with our students. And, and the book is called Giraffes Can't Dance. It's a great story about a giraffe uh, who lives in the jungle where all the animals can dance. And yet, good old Gerald, he can't. He doesn't hear the music. He can't move like all the other animals and, and he's discouraged. But somewhere along the line comes a cricket who is able to give him wise uh, words of encouragement and advice. And he helps Gerald to find his song, his music, which allowed him to be able to dance. Um, and so the, the message that the two pieces that we really pulled out from this story is number one, never give up persevere even when people try to bring you down speak negatively discourage you right you can always have hope and have that growth mindset and never give up second message is a challenge to our, our children ha have been this you know i talked about the cricket um, who was the encourager and, and the challenge has been be the cricket in someone's life right be the person who who looks for opportunities to lift somebody up, to give them a kind word, to make them feel good, and to help them see um, and unlock the magic that's inside them. You can do that for a friend, you can do that for a teacher, you can do that for your mom, you can do that for your dad, your brother, your sister, your grandmother, your neighbor. You can do it for a stranger, right? A kind word, a kind act, uh, being able to notice someone's gifts and helping them see it allows you to be the cricket, right? So have a conversation with your children. And, and I would really, really encourage you as parents, guardians, to model uh, reading for your, for your children. You know, parents will ask, like, how can I help my child academically? And, and my number one advice would be, right, you might not be able to help them significantly with math or social studies or science. And I'm sure you can't. But the best thing you can do is help them develop a love for reading, um, building that time into their schedule, and also read with them. Share with them what you're reading, what you're learning, why it's important. Um, if you can do that for them, that is a big win. And, and lastly, December 22nd, please remember that it is a full day of school. Our winter parties will begin at 2 o'clock and will wrap up three o'clock sharp so that teachers have opportunities to clean, clean up the room as well as distribute report cards. Have a great day.